Hi guys, today we're gonna show you how to root the Galaxy Note 5 on Android 6.0 Marshmallow. Let's go do this, baby. Alright, first thing you want to do is go ahead and turn on, um, go ahead and go into settings. Right, and go ahead and down to about device. Go ahead and check out your model number. Make sure this model number is supported. Uh, I have a T-Mobile Galaxy Note 5. Go ahead and check my root page, um, the actual tutorial page, and check your model number is supported. Most Note 5s, except for AT&T and Verizon, are pretty much supported. All right, and also make sure Android version is 6.0 or 6.0.1 or higher. It will not work on Lollipop. If you want Lollipop root, go to my site, galaxynote5root.com, and look for Lollipop root instructions instead, or upgrade your um software to latest 6.0.1 and follow this root method all right once you figure it out that your model number um is gonna work for this root method we're ready to go go ahead and go to the build number go ahead and hit it a bunch of times until it says developer mode has been turned on go ahead and hit the back button here and next you'll have a new menu called developer options go ahead and hit the developer options make sure oem unlock is checked on if you have this option not all phones have this option, but if you do have it, such as the T-Mobile Note 5, make sure it's on. On the international models, it probably won't have it. If you don't have it, um, don't worry about it. You can go ahead and skip the step. Next, go ahead and power off your Note 5. Next, we're going to go ahead and put it into download mode by holding down volume down, center home, and the power button. And hold them down together until you see a warning screen like this. Let go of all the buttons. Hit volume up. And next, you're going to go ahead and connect it to your Windows computer using a micro USB cable. You can also use Mac or Windows, uh, sorry, Mac or Linux if you're using VMware to run Windows on top of it. That's the only real um, recommended way. Or just go ahead and borrow your Windows computer from your friend. You can use like a Windows XP to do it. So, all right, guys, um, you will have to download a bunch of files. Um, go ahead and download Odin 3 underscore v 3.10.6.zip. Go ahead and unzip that. You'll find a folder with all the files you need for Odin. Also, you'll need to download uh, no verify opt encrypt.zip. Also, beta super su blah blah.zip. Also, twerp recovery for your Note 5. Uh, most of you will have this. Uh, I'll have the links which one you got to download. Go ahead and download twerplablah.tar or it could be tar.md5. Also download Samsung USB drivers. Um, if you don't have drivers installed, you've never installed Samsung USB drivers, go ahead and double click this and install the drivers. All right, next we're going to go ahead and go into the Odin directory. Double click on Odin 3 v3.10.6.exe. All right, and you should see this blue highlighted with a random com number uh my 4k laptop somehow it doesn't make it look right but you should see a blue highlighted box here all right if you see that you're good to go if you don't see it go back to the downloads folder and run the uh, samsung usb drivers if you haven't yet if you don't still see it try rebooting your computer after installing your drivers rerun odin and you should see this all right next is sort of important um what we're gonna do we're going to go ahead and choose AP and go ahead and go to your downloads folder and choose the twerp uh, blah blah dot tar or tar dot mb5. Uh, this is the twerp recovery. All right, this is very important. We're going to go ahead and hit uh, volume up, center home, and the power button as soon as your phone reboots when this is done, which should take five seconds. So, ready? One, two, three. All right, my phone will reboot. Now, I'm going to do the buttons hold down volume up, center home, power. And then let go of the power, keep holding down volume up, center home. And you should now be in team win recovery. All right here, what you're gonna do is swipe to allow modifications. Now this is very important. Um, this root method will erase everything on your phone. I know I should have told you before doing this. Um, do make a backup of everything. If you haven't yet, just go ahead and reboot and make a backup of everything, all right? And then restart the root process. Next, we're going to go wipe. We're going to format data. This will erase everything. You're going to have to type yes, all right? Uh, and that this will erase everything on your phone. All right, we're going to hit, hit the home button, reboot, and we're going to go to recovery. This will reboot you into recovery. 
All right, and this will put you back into tour of recovery. Swipe to allow modifications again. All right, give it a second. Go back to your computer and go back to the download folder and go ahead and copy no verify opt encrypt.zip and also beta super fsu. Do a right click copy. Copy both files into your Galaxy Note 5 internal storage. All right. That's pretty much it. Go back to your phone and we're going to go ahead and install and we're going to choose no verify OPT encrypt. Swipe to confirm flash. All right. And we're going to go back, hit home, hit install, hit on uh, beta super SU v2.68. Swipe. And that's pretty much it. And when you reboot, you should have uh, Android 6.0 or 6.0.1 Marshmallow with full root, um, which will be awesome. Now you'll be able to go install custom ROMs. You have uh, also Torp Recovery installed. And that's pretty much it. That's how you root uh, all the Galaxy Note 5s. Fail-proof method um, will root all the different Note 5s. And that's pretty much how you root Galaxy Note 5. And I'll give it a second here, and when it completely boots, uh, we'll take a quick look here. Alright guys, boot it up, and let me go ahead and just skip through all of this. And once it's booted up, find Super SU. And if you don't see any errors, it's fully rooted. Let me go ahead and download a Titanium Backup app to verify full root. Give me a second here. All right, you can go ahead and download Titanium Backup Root app. Uh, and let's go ahead and open it. And boom, shakalaka, baby. If you see Super User Request window, your phone has been fully rooted. Congratulations. And thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more root videos, reviews, and more stuff. And as always, stay on Android. Click here to subscribe.